So what we got going today, we're going to do some ribs and we're going to do some chicken wings. Let's come over here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to look at the ribs here and see how many got one here, one here, and I'm going to go straight on down through that. And that's what you'd call kind of like a serving size. So one, two, right around there. And someone might look at that fat and say, oh, cut that off. That's where your flavor is. You want to cook with the fat first and then remove it. You don't want to take it off as then, you know, things go, and why isn't that as tasty as it used to be? So this is good. We're going to lightly season it. We're going to put it in the pressure cooker. I think I'll probably mispronounce it, mise en place, which is everything in its place. And you want to have all your prep done. You know, you talk about sous chefs. Sous chefs, they chop your vegetables. Everything's ready to go. Uh, in this case, I put my, because boat could be rocking, I've got an eight quart pressure cooker that's got a little standoff steam basket. Again, this is from the mid eighties. And I'm going to come over here. Pretty good beer to be put in here. <laughs> so when I've got the beer in there. This is a lot of stuff's going to wash off, so I'm just going to season it. Actually, moisture is getting to that. So yeah, I actually people think I mean you do this from this height that you're trying to be fancy. Actually, what you're doing is uh, getting a much more even distribution of the salt. And it looks fancy at the same time. It's a twofer crank. A little bit of pepper, nothing much. It's good, good stuff. So now I'm just going to place this down in here. It's no big deal. And there'll be a little bit of a bath of it going on. And there you are. This has a jiggler valve on it. And this is pre-weighted at 10, uh, 10 pounds to maintain the pressure. Most people remember from science class that water boils, what, 212? Uh, what the pressure cooker does is not only does it retain the nutrients, but it delays the boiling, delays the boiling to about 250 degrees. I'm going to tighten this up pretty good. And we're going to uh, put heat to it. And with the induction, it would heat up extremely fast. Put it on your largest, uh, put it on your largest uh, burner. And when we're uh, we're going to give this some time. When we start hitting full pressure, this will start to spin. And so what is that going to do? It's going to break down the collagen in the meat really fast, and it's going to tenderize it. The beer will also help. Remember, we talked about it being a little bit of acidic. That will help very quickly. Light seasoning, and you know we're going to um, we're going to have this thing going in no time flat. Once it reaches pressure, you'd think to yourself, "Oh, okay." Um, I can do this in a pot. No, you can do it in a pot, but it's going to take a lot longer and it won't be fall off the bone tender. So once we hit pressure, we're going to do this for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, that's about the amount of time we're going to slowly cook those um, chicken wings upstairs. And we'll continue on with more things to do. What's, what's very, been very impressive for me, speaking as a you know customer, of course. Um, is the degree in which you can get really good grill marks and color on your food. Yeah. And that obviously comes, I think you said 650 degrees? It caramelizes, is that what yep, that yeah, is? It yeah. actually, which is what you need in this even. Please. It's one of our patents. So yes. that the heat transfer is completely linear from right. edge to edge. No cold spots, no hot spots, no half cooked chicken here and a piece of charcoal here. It's the yep. same. Now, if you flip it over, Mike, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add to his uh, what he's saying. By having it snap in, you also radiate the heat both much more evenly. Rather than just having it up underneath it, yeah, no. going, okay. Would it warm? Would it warm up? Sure, it'd do fine. But because it snaps into that, you get that radiant heat all the way around, and it also radiates down, which will help with your vapor basting, etc. Yeah. What and a great thing, idea. It's very sustainable because there's very little heat loss, unlike yeah. propane or charcoal, where 60% yeah. or more goes out in the atmosphere. It sure does. Nine, over 90% of that element heat is absorbed in this great ore griddle. So it's extremely sustainable and very good for the environment. And like you said, Dean, high, even heat. This is a very social boat. And that is the exact right words. Yeah. It's a social boat. So if you're over in these chairs, doesn't matter. You can't really see through this. But you've got a lot of people you can sit through. For sure. 
and enjoy, plus the smell, yep. and you, and you, 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 nobody feels cramped. Yeah. So I, I, and everybody I think it's loves being design. around this when you're yes. cooking. They all want to be here. Yeah, and they all want to watch like this. <laughs> they, they all, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They all want to see what's going on. That's for sure. Let me go bring the chicken, which is already ready, and we'll turn this on. Okay. Um, what do you want? You put some beer in here. Yeah, I brought that. You're the man. You can use any kind of beer, um, preferably a lager, light beer. Right, and it, uh, I agree, uh, but uh, like you say, any kind of beer. And, and it, for that matter, depending upon what you're cooking, uh, any kind of liquid. Uh -huh. So like I was telling you earlier, that pancakes, bacon and eggs, things that you don't normally need to flavor, because they're on the griddle, uh, still put like two cups of water in right. it. And if you're doing uh, fish, a Sprite works really well because yeah, it's, it's like got that, carbonation that carbonation, citrus yeah. mm -hmm. carbonation that it will infuse the food. And uh, wine with hamburgers and steak as well. Oh, wine yeah. So any acid really. Yes, that's you know, correct. If you're uh, if you're using so, beer is acidic, wine is acidic, vinegars are acidic. So I'm going to put um, a little, little beer in here in the. Uh, this is a coated drip pan, which is an option, very popular option. So that that'll do it. That's perfect. Just like that. And then what's nice about this, not only will it flavor the food, but when you're done cooking... It makes it easier to clean. <laughs> a, a paper towel. You just dump this out, wipe it down with a paper towel, and you're done. So yep. it's very friendly that way, too. All right, so, we'll snap that in. So we're, then we're going to put the, uh, the grate in place here. That's all there is to it. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And we're going to turn this up to full heat to start with. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can actually, this is one of the secrets that we're going to tell you about. You can actually just hit this and you go full bar. Oh, yeah, go to it. Oh, just, yeah, and it goes full bar, or you can go down with it like this oh, and like adjust that. it. But the secret is, of course, if you just want to go full heat like we normally do to preheat, just we'll turn that off. Hit the minus button once you turn it on. It goes it, all the way around. That's Boom. it. I love Boom. that. Again, one of those neat little tricks. Didn't know that. I, so we're going to close the lid. In about six minutes, this will get to full heat uh, around 600 degrees. Well, let's see how, how hot we are. Well, we're, we can probably put them on. Yeah. I mean, let's go ahead. Here, I'm going uh, to turn this down a little bit. And I will hold, and he can do the honors of, of placing said pieces. Oh, those are big. Yeah, oh, wow. The yeah. three jointed, so. Okay, let me do it this way then. Which is how they get more money per pound. They do. If I was going to make chicken stock, which I frequently do, I'd cut those little wing tips off because they're worthless. It's something that carry a lot of collagen. See how I can do this and, and use the maximum amount of grill space here. Yep. And they make a great stock. I Especially bet. if you're going to follow up with rice, you know, arroz con pollo, and put in some rice in there. You know, I need to hang around you more, Dean. I'm, you know, just, just talking to you, I, my mouth is, <laughs> is watering. I mean, it's just listening Yum to how you, Oh, my God. So true. Now, hear that nice sizzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. Now, a lot of people don't think of this, and for those people who are new to grilling, um, you absolutely want to use Mike's top down, regardless which one you have. Totally. And because it, it creates a mini oven. It does. And a lot of people uh, don't realize how important a lid is. Yeah. They don't understand what all that does. Cook with the lid down. Absolutely. Totally. If I can now, if you got your griddle function going on, yep. that's different. A different but, story. Uh, different story. But we're using. I think it's all grill. we're going to do right now. Yeah. We don't yeah. want to crowd them too much. No. And, uh -uh. and the reason is. I'll keep this here. Yep. The reason is, and by the way, setting out like this, don't panic about bacteria or anything like that because the salt doesn't allow it for really. You, you could last outside for quite a bit. Slowly coming here, and to, I can pop this off and degas it. Um, but we'll do that. We'll put this lifted up. And, you know, I can see you can pick it up. It's no big deal. But as this thing starts to spin faster and faster, meaning everything's coming up to the full temperature, I can drop the uh, uh, the power down, and um, it'll cook just as well. Because the whole purpose of this weight is to maintain that 10 psi inside, approximately. Some of them are set at 15, um, but works great. That's what we're after. So if it's steaming coming out of here, we're in the right temperature. We talked about this being a social boat. The 44, the Aquila 44, is just a dynamite design. And this comes up, this opens like this. This pops down here. And uh, unless you're running air conditioning, now you've got the world. So as he steps out, 
you can see that I can have the built-in bar stools I have a conversation do my business here clean dishes do whatever oh look at over here there's a manatee there's a you know whatever I'm not missing the action which a lot of boats you know the uh, the, the kind of boat that you drop down into well below um, you don't see anything you've got an incredible view here and it's just it's just lovely this thing's going at full speed now that I got that I can bring my temperature down a little bit dial in your power you know whatever keeps it to what is just basic a simple turn and all kinds of pressure cookers they have little buttons that come up different ways this is just fine so I'm just gonna turn these over one more time nice and crisp and if you can see the caramelization on here this is only about 15 minutes I've turned them once this is the second time the heat as I mentioned earlier is um, completely even across the entire grilling surface so you don't have to move the food back and forth just turn it over when you need to and these are almost done yeah these are looking pretty good close the silicone the silken lid let that for about another maybe five ten minutes and we'll be ready to go all right so we got in there 30 minutes now i'm going to pull this thing off and move your camera back a little bit because steam is going to come out by the way, you can get self space if you like that. It's not that hot. So this has been permeated with the beer. So if you're a Modelo fan, you might get a little taste of Modelo in there. And very simple seasonings. But one of the things I was, uh, we were talking down here a little bit ago about how to use the smaller kitchen. Well, one of the things you want to try to do is make one major dish. And in this case, I'm going to reuse the same pressure cooker to do some mac and cheese quickly. So we got the uh, uh, we got the chicken wings off and they look beautiful. Now we're going to take this up, we're going to transfer it to the grill, then I'm going to come back down, give this a quick cleaning, and then we're going to do some mac and cheese in there while that finishes upstairs. But I don't even have, I even know I could use another burner for something, I don't need to. This is going to be the primary thing, primary vessel, and, I, and in between I've been cleaning. So this is not sat down and, and talked for a little bit. Like I said, being social, you're not glued to the kitchen, which is a nice thing. So don't be intimidated by a small galley. Make the best of it, figure out what's the major thing I'm gonna do. In this case, we're doing ribs, and I know I could easily do mac and cheese in the same pot very, very quickly. You don't have to boil water for three hours to get it up to temperature and then transfer the pasta. This is all gonna happen very quickly in the pressure cooker, and then we're gonna use uh, some evaporated milk, again something you would keep in your cupboard, you go, oh I don't have any milk, well yeah you do. Um, so you're going to see this come together very simply and it's going to be delicious and a compliment to everything else going. So let's do it. Now we're going to transfer it here and you want to do the honors? Uh, you want to put it on with the chicken? Sure. Okay, we can do that. All right. You got it uh, medium heat? Yeah. I do, I do. All right, so let me scoot look this over. Look at the color here yeah. Mike's got going on that. Got the grill marks. That's important. And the caramelization is what's important too. Yep. Yeah, so it's actually caramelized. So the natural occurring sugars in the meat is slightly browning, burning, um, and it gives you that, wow, that's really tasty. All right. All on it. you. All right, thanks, man. Now, we still have plenty of fat, and that fat's going to uh, potentially give you a little bit of a, a flare if you had a fire. But this doesn't Will have, not. Will not. we've got moisture down below, and we're going to add just a little bit more. Okay. This was so we went through three beers in total. Is that one for you, one for me, and one for the grill? It should have been. That's exactly. <laughs> now the smell is really good. It is really good. Now, when do you put the sauce on normally, Dean? Last five minutes. Okay. So what we want to do here, we've tenderized it, and Mike's going to get the same kind of marks. We're going to close this down like we did before. We're going to flip it a couple of times, and at the very last minute, we're going to take some uh, your favorite brand of, uh, of barbecue sauce. Oh yeah. Here, by the way, look. I could never do this. That thing's at 
almost fully max heat. It's been for yeah, an, an hour a, plus. A, 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 about, yeah. So uh, and you this, can, is, this is fantastic. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, and it's got little vent holes here to yep. trap in the heat to yep. let some of the moisture off because you don't want to steam your nope. food. Nope. So that's why those little holes are there. Oh my God, that's really <laughs> nice. God, I, if my hand, and I imagine you're being in the Pacific Northwest, so some of your hands are cold. You don't want to have to warm my hands up here. Well, and when it comes time to clean it, this is what you're going to do. This yeah. is it. This, just like this. Just like that. And you're done. Very, very cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah. All right. Five minutes away from being done, and we're going to put the barbecue sauce on. We'll get the uh, Kenyan brush here on the utensil set. And we're going to brush this on. You see how great these look already. These are already caramelized to some extent. And the sauce will make it even more. And you can literally slather this on as you probably see I'm doing. It's not a problem. Uh, even on the grate. The grate will still wipe off just like brand new when we're done with a wet paper towel. Even though this is has sugar in it and would normally stick to anything, you'll see that this coating is spectacular. I don't know if you can smell that. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, just the smell. All right, good enough. We're gonna go ahead and close the lid. We just took off the barbecued chicken wings and barbecued uh, ribs, and uh, all we're gonna do now to clean the grate is take a wet paper towel while it's still hot, and you'll see that it just wipes down. Nothing sticks, even the barbecue sauce, which is heavily sugared, as you know, just wipes right down, and this looks like brand new. No coating, we didn't spray this with anything. This is just how it comes when you buy it. And that is all there is to it. Now, if you want to, you can throw this in the sink afterwards and rinse it, of course. Or if you have a dishwasher, throw it in the dishwasher. But that's all there is to it. Same thing goes for the griddle. As far as the top's concerned, you can see that it came off here. You wipe, this is a silken lid. Just wipe that down with a paper towel. And, of course, you can see it looks like brand new. That's all there is to clean up. When it gets cool enough, you'll dump the contents of the drip pan, wipe it with a towel, with a paper, wet paper towel, and that's clean up. That's it. I want to thank Dean for hosting this. You bet. Learned a lot. Yeah, you know, me too. You are one hell of a chef. Well, thank you. you thank great you very job. Much. This is fantastic. And you make an excellent product, and I've been using it all along. We made this all work together. It's a team effort. We learn secrets from each other. Yes. Yeah, we learn some yeah. neat, neat tips from each other. And uh, if you're interested in getting some of the accessories that we showed off today, please come to our website, www.cookwithkenyan.com. And uh, I want to thank you again. Yeah, and Akila for helping sponsor this whole thing. And they bought the chicken ribs and they bought the, uh, or the, the, ch the chicken ribs. They bought <laughs> the ribs and the chicken ribs.